Boys and girls, when I started learning about AI solutions back two years ago, I was completely overwhelmed. I was watching YouTube videos, but each video I watched, I actually got more confused about it. So what I wanted to do is quickly make this 10 minute video for my younger self, and it's going to cover everything you need to know about AI agents, whether you want to build an AI sales agent, lead nurturing agent, you know, a customer support agent, whatever you want to build, I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to be able to choose any language model of your choice, ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude, and it's going to be super easy so that's the goal of this video so let me just show you how this works straight away because no one likes a long intro you can see down here that i could deploy this onto any channel whether it's emails google docs um websites and i'll show you how to do that in this video as well all in 10 minutes so we need to get cracking actually but um if i just say something like write me my next instagram real script and we press enter it is going to yeah process that request you can see that it has received the text prompt and you can see that it has successfully uh created me an instagram script that is actually good and this will go viral so um yeah this says i stopped scrolling when i saw an air agent make one thousand two hundred dollars in a single day for its owner whilst they were sleeping and you can see that the call to action is actually good so uh, comments and i'll send you my framework that took me from zero to 10k per month in 45 days really solid cta and you can see that this is an actually good usable script and obviously it could do anything i ask it to and it could be on any platform that i want it to um so if you want to deploy this onto other platforms i'll show you how to do that in this video so the first thing you are going to do is head over to google and search for vector shift if you haven't heard of vector shift it is a completely free end-to-end -end ai automation platform where you can build no code ai agents so once you click on it and if you don't know what this is and you haven't used it before don't worry because i'm going to show you the ins and outs um, just make sure to get started which you'll get a free account and obviously once you do that it will look something like this where you will see the pipelines knowledge files it may look overwhelming but i promise you it's super super simple very similar to make.com or na10 if you've heard of them it's just a lot easier in my opinion to get started with so what you're going to do is click create new pipeline you don't need to do anything else just follow what i'm doing in this video so once you click on create pipeline it will look like this where you have your diagram and you can obviously have this canvas so you can build anything on so the first thing we're going to do is obviously an input so this is a very simple text input and that's all you really need to do is just click input it's that simple um, and the next thing we're going to do is choose the llm so this is a large language model you can see that you could choose the ai agent to be hosted on a open ai anthropic um, which is you know claude um, you've got other ones perplexity you get the point you can also do custom ones as well as well as open source but let's just keep it really simple and use anthropic because we want to use claude 3.7 sonnet which is in my opinion the best creative llm out there however you could use chat gpt if you want to do that um, and stuff like that so you can see now that we have successfully um, got an input we have successfully got the um, yeah, language model and you're honestly almost done. Like I cannot explain how easy this is to build. It may look a bit confusing, but I promise you just stick with me. There's only a few more steps to it. So you can see that I just went on to ChatGPT and said, I need you to write me a system prompt for an AI content researcher. Now, obviously, if you wanted to build a lead nurturing bot or a sales agent, you would just replace that with this right here. Um, and I even got ChatGPT to actually ask me questions so it can align the output with my expectations. So it gave me a few questions just to understand what I want this AI agent to do. So I answered it right here. Um, and yeah, essentially it gave me the, these uh, system instructions. I just made sure to um, yeah, include it. So it has the um, input, the source context, the memory. You don't need to know what any of this means because I'm actually gonna put this in the description. So you can copy and paste this um, or, as well as if you want to upload this to ChatGPT and then just tell it to tweak it if you want to build a different AI agent. And if you know me and my channel, I just want to give you stuff for free. Like I don't really care about you paying me. Um, so this will be the first link in the description and you can obviously, yeah, just copy and paste this in. So what that would look like is you, yeah, put this into right here and boom, you're pretty much good to go. You can obviously, um, yeah, make paragraphs just to make it a bit more, um, yeah, clear. So you can see that I'm just splitting this up. And this is just the prompt of what you want the AI agent to do. So as I said, you could change this for whatever you want to build. Um, but obviously the goal is to eliminate time spent on ideation and ensuring high quality viral content. Um, you can keep this the same for now because I'm gonna show you how to change this. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually go onto your keyboard and make sure you put an input right here and just click text. Um, so that basically just links this to this. Um, and then what we can do once again, I know this can be a bit confusing, but I need you just to replace that right there and just double click it so it doesn't um, have that error. And 
yeah, now all we need to do is give the AI agent a knowledge base and a chat memory. So let me make this super clear. So, so far, all we've done is added an input, which is right here. Then we essentially uh, chose the language model of our choice. We've given it a um, system prompt, very simple. This could be whatever you want. Just make sure it has the uh, keywords, the source context and the memory chat. And you are pretty much almost done. Like I literally promise, just stick with me for two more minutes and you would have created an AI agent. Um, so yeah, now what we're going to do is essentially go to knowledge base and we are going to drag a knowledge base right here. And this allows the AI agent to be trained on your business or your client's business if you're selling this. Um, and it's yeah really that easy. So how this would work is you would basically obviously you need to create a knowledge base, which you can actually do inside right here. Um, or what I would recommend doing is actually going back into the um, home. Once you're here, all you need to do is click on knowledge and you'll see that I've got my one right here. So you can just click on new and create your own knowledge base. Um, and it's really simple. Yeah, just to show you what this looks like. It can be a PDF so you can upload a file or you can just add a document. Um, and what I did to save even more time, which you'll find really helpful, is I actually asked, you can see that this is the conversation I had on ChatGPT. And I basically just asked ChatGPT, can you create a knowledge base about me? Because I've obviously used ChatGPT and it has a memory of who I am. Um, so you can see that it has said this, you are an entrepreneur specializing in AI automation. You help agency owners. Um, yeah, you're a community. So it obviously knows everything about me and what I'm looking for in terms of the content style tone. Um, if you don't have this, then you can very easily just create a knowledge base on a Google document just like this. And you can either download it as a PDF, which is super simple. Just click download and yeah, download it as a PDF, or you can just give um, yeah, vector shift the URL and you'll be good to go. So to do that, it will look something like this. What that means then is once you go back into pipelines and we click on it right here, you can essentially select the one that you've created. So you can see my one's called Charlie, but you would obviously call yours whatever you want. But once you've selected your knowledge base so the AI agent knows about you or your clients, you can very easily just come down here. And if you remember correctly, this is where we want to have the, uh, the source content. So if you go here and you click knowledge base, you can see that we just need to essentially select chunks and you're good to go. So now it has the input text, it has the knowledge base, and all we need to do now is give it a chat memory, which is super easy to do. You just go over here to click on chat and you essentially click on chat memory. So now you can see that we have the error agent right here, there's Claude, we have the knowledge base and we have a chat memory. So what we can do is very easy, you just put this in right here and you're pretty much good to go. So once again, let's replace this with the chat memory, you do not need to do anything else. So just like that, you have successfully created your first AI agent. You have the knowledge base, you have the chat memory, you've got the chosen LLM of your choice. Um, so now you can just have an output and you can really decide where you want to integrate this um, into whatever platform you want. So just a quick tip, make sure you have an output so it knows how to actually um, send you the information from what you want it to do. So if we just do here, and we put um, Anthropic and then we just do response, you're good to go. So now um, you've obviously created the whole thing. You can obviously choose where you want to integrate this um, into. So for example, Airtable, you've got Discord, Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets, um, and that's just scratching the surface. Notion, uh, if you want to do it onto social medias, you can see that we actually have LinkedIn um, somewhere on here. You'll probably um, be able to pause the video and find it in your own time. Here it is. So LinkedIn X go high level, which is a CRM, my favorite CRM. Uh, so yeah, you can really put this into um, use just by clicking on the integrations tab and hosting this wherever you want. Um, so you can actually use it, not just locally inside Vectorshift, but obviously outside, um, which is the goal for most people. Um, so yeah, that is essentially this video summed up. So hopefully this was um, pretty valuable and obviously to um, yeah actually use this or test it, what you can do is click on deploy changes and you can just deploy it. So that just means that it's been saved and once you export it, it will now be a chatbot that you can deploy onto a website and stuff like that. So once you click chatbot, you can call it whatever you want. If you do that, it will send you to a new place where you can actually choose to place it onto a website and so much more uh, you know, information from it. But what I suggest doing is clicking on the run right here 
and actually having a play around with it. So we just said, please write me a YouTube title. And you can see that it said how AI accidentally predicted a stock market crash three days before it happened. <laughs> so obviously we can tweak it however we want, but you get the point. It can do whatever you want based on your knowledge base, based on your chat memory and based on the LLM of your choice. And as I said, you can deploy this to wherever you want. So hopefully this was valuable. If you want more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on, on them and comment what videos you want next as well. Uh, like the video and if you are interested in taking your business to the next level using AI and just you know scaling faster then I'll leave a link in the description for my community. We actually give you free software like Go High Level um, as well as lead scrapers, cold DM software to actually yeah, scale and make money because that's what this channel is about, not just sharing videos for the sake of it. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy and have an amazing day.